we're just kind of showing people the voluntary conservation that farmers are doing all across the state and the benefits we're seeing from it. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Michaela Jordan. Here in Carroll County looking at a restored oxbow site with Brandon Iddings, Iowa Soybean Association's Research Center for Farming Innovation, Conservation Services Manager. Brandon, let's start at the beginning. What is an oxbow and what does it do? An oxbow is an old meander of the stream that over time gets cut off naturally or man-made. There was a lot of man-made straightening. The ones we're on today were actually naturally cut off. So over time, the ends of the oxbow get filled in with sediment and kind of form a plug. Then over more time, they kind of get filled in with erosion naturally from upstream or uphill in this case of the oxbow. Once they're completely filled in with sediment, that's when they need that restoration. So that's when we come back in and, and do our part in this. Once the sediment fills in, what does that restoration process look like? First, it's kind of just me kind of moving up and down online, looking at maps, kind of figuring out where these oxbows are, then reaching out to the landowner saying, hey, you have this opportunity. We want to help you with it. We want our partners to help you with it. We kind of start going through that process, start working on design, start talking about what's the restoration going to look like. Like most of the time, it's just re-digging that old scar out. So you're going down to the old stream bed. It's usually four, six feet deep usually. And then you hit that old gravel sand layer, the dirt, from the oxbow, it's really good black dirt. We usually put it right back out in the crop fields, um, kind of on those sandy knobs. One farmer told us uh, he was seeing the year after we did the restoration, anywhere from 10 to 20 bushels an acre increase in his yields. That's incredible. With those increases in bushels, along with restoring the conservation practice that is an oxbow, what benefits can farmers and landowners see with restoring an oxbow? Yeah, so as you can see in the back here, we have a tile coming in. So the, one of the biggest things we're doing on these oxbow restorations is the water quality benefits. A lot of these fields are pattern tiled over here in Carroll County. So we dump the tile into the oxbows. We have heavy soil types, so it's holding a lot of water. So getting some of that water out and into these oxbows, it creates an area for the water to be slowed down. Some of the microbes in the soil and the plants to uptake those nitrates, clean up that water before it gets to the stream. Usually on average, they're talking 62% of the nitrates removed from the oxbow. In these last couple of years, oxbows have been going dry. If it goes dry, you're seeing 100% of the nitrates removed from that water. So pretty awesome practice. Another reason we're doing it is for the endangered Topeka Shiner. So it's an endangered minnow. It's only about that big. In June-ish, they usually get these really bright orange fins. So they're just a cool species. Oxbow restorations are the number one way to recover that species. They almost act as a nursery for that fish. We're just kind of trying to restore these oxbows, showing people the voluntary conservation that farmers are doing all across the state and uh, in the benefits, these stacked benefits we're seeing from it. With Earth Day right on the horizon coming up on April 22nd, now is the perfect time to think about conservation efforts and improving water quality. If a farmer member or landowner is interested in having an oxbow restored, how can they go about getting that done? If they contact me and you have an oxbow on your ground, I, I, I can pretty much promise I'll get somebody in contact with you who can, who can help you do your restoration. Go to your local NRCS office, talk to your district conservationist. Those people are awesome, they'll help you out. Your local IDOL staff is another perfect example. Um, Fish and Wildlife, TNC, there's so many great conservation partners out there that if you're interested in conservation, go find one and these people are so excited to work with you. Brandon and his team with the Research Center for Farming Innovation are here to help you restore your multi-purpose oxbow all across the state. Brandon, thank you for joining us today and showing off your oxbow restoration projects. Reporting for this episode of The State of Soy, I'm Michaela Jordan. Farming is a competitive business, and you need equipment you can count on every single day. That's why for nearly 90 years, farmers have entrusted their grain handling to Brandt Agricultural Products. Brandt's full line of hardworking conveyors, augers, grain carts, vacs, grain bagging equipment, and tillage equipment are made to deliver the competitive edge you need to lead the field and are manufactured here in the USA. For more information on our full line of products, visit Brandt.ca today.